Hi, my name is Gudrun from GE Designs. Welcome to my live quilting chat, Tipsy Tuesday. Hi everybody, thanks for being here with me, whether you are on Facebook or YouTube. This is our 65th Tipsy Tuesday episode. I don't know about you, but I'm still smiling from Sunday. It was an amazing day and um, just can't get over how, how great it all went, all your comments and just thank yous. It was really, really great. Um, if you're new here and don't know anything what we do, make sure you start off with saying hi in the comments, stating your name and where you're tuning in from. I saw lots of people from all over tuning in so thank you again for being here even my aunties in Iceland hi guys thanks for being here I know it's late over there but so honored that you're not going to want to miss the show um, so on this show of course we need to recap our Sunday relive it all over again a little bit and it was just such an amazing day like we I said earlier and we're going to take a look at some of those wonderful harmony quilts that got started on Sunday. I know not all of them, not even a small percentage is not finished and they shouldn't be. You're going to take your time and, but it's going to be great because it's going to give us a great little slideshow for the next few episodes of Tippy's Tipsy Tuesday. I also have a little sneaky surprise for you. I will be launching a new brand new pattern tonight that you'll be the first ones to see. So very fun, quick quilt to make. But I am also here to answer all your questions. So make sure you pop them just in the comments. I will try and get to as many as we can as we see them. But just know it's hard to see them because we usually have a lot of questions. So just enjoy enjoy the show. Now, we love it when, we use, when you use your thumbs up and your hearts to show that you appreciate the show. And of course, if you share the videos we all will always appreciate that as well so i see we've been putting some check-ins up on the screen from all over that's really great of course we have a giveaway two winners are going to be crowned tonight of course we're going to announce some other winners from previous shows and from our sunday uh, quilt along day but so last week tipsy tuesday episode um, I asked you a question, the giveaway question. We always have a question at the end, but we also pick a live winner. So you, the more you comment, the better chances to win. Uh, the end of the show question last week was I asked you, who would you like to sing for you, dead or alive? Anybody, who would you like to sing for you? Or maybe you want to sing with them. And our winner is Charlotte Whiteford and her dream singer, is George Strait. So congratulations, Charlotte. You win a $25 gift card to the GE Designs shop. So uh, we will be in touch, or if you see this, send us a quick message or an email and we'll get that all settled for you so you can go shopping. Now, first things first, I wanna thank all of you for an amazing Sunday. It was just such a joy. Everything went so smoothly, no issues, technology worked, um, thanks to Mr. HP. Mr. Honey Producer took care of all the little glitches that were about to happen and, and you know, kind of they went away and of course you didn't feel anything, right? <laughs> Even though I was pretty much a vegetable that night because you don't realize how much energy you're putting out. So uh, by like 7.30, I was knocked out pretty much on the couch, just done, but a smile on my face. So uh, it was so rewarding to hear all your feedback and then even since Sunday, all the messages, the emails, it was just really the best. So a few little updates. If you missed it, all the videos are still there. So you can f easily find everything regarding the quilt along. Um, go to the website and click on the blog. That's where we have all the links to everything, to the pattern and to the videos, to the playlist, to the recipes and all the other stuff, fun stuff that um, we did and everything you need to find. The videos are both found on Facebook and YouTube. They each have their own little playlist. So on Facebook, you will find them on our business page, the GE Designs page. Um, on YouTube, they are just on our 
uh, channel, so which is also GE Designs. So make sure you like both so it's easily found and you can watch them over and over and over. Um, one of the tools that we I showed you how to use was Doug's ruler. Did I put that away now? Yeah, Doug's Simply Folded Corners rulers. I think I put it in um, that little ruler slot underneath, yeah. No, it's on the little, um, on the shelf. Can you look and see if you find it? It might be in the top drawer too. I was put stuff away too well. That's not good. Yeah, they don't know what they're looking for. Yes, that. Um, is the packaging there? There too. So Doug's Simply Folded Corner Ruler. Uh, we, I taught you how to use that. It's great to use with any anytime you're doing simple folded corners so you can just trim off your uh, corners first. So here's the packaging, Sim simple folded corners. And so it, there's two different methods to use. I just showed you one, but happily to say you can now get it in the store. So it's on the website. Um, actually met with Doug this morning and so he delivered, hand delivered some rulers. So that's really great. I wanted to have it all in one place for you if you're interested in that. Now, another question we got so much was, of course, our last segment of Sunday with the harmony and the singing and my interview with uh, Kathleen Johnson's Mr. Honey Producer's sister very, very talented sister. And um, a lot of you were asking how to get her music because of course they are not doing any live shows during COVID. And so uh, we did put a link to her, the, the CD, the old CD that they wrote together. And we played that last, the beginning of the segment. And at the end of the segment, we played songs from that. So on the blog, there's a link to that page because that is only digital. So you can download it and purchase it right from her site. Um, however, we also played you a little video of her performing during one of their Greats Gone Too Soon shows, um, specifically the Etta James experience. So those, all those songs are, are of course, uh, dedicated or done previously done by Etta James but now sang by Miss Kathleen Johnson and the Kaj Orchestra the TKO and so uh, we have the CDs uh, all of you were asking if I could just carry the CDs in the shop and so they are but if you don't know what we're talking about I thought can we play just that video again with a little it's like tidbits of of the songs that are on the CD yeah, so we got, we got it all right let's play it Let me tell you live shows I kind of miss them um, fortunately a lot of our artists or our musicians are really struggling during COVID because of course there's no performances um, no events going on and all of those venues they used to have these great concerts are pretty much shut down so um, this is the little CD and it has how many songs 11 and one is a, a medley but really great stuff so this is actually them on this little CD. You can find it in the store. There's a link in the description of the video. So at the top of the video where we have all the links, it's in there, but it's actually under, I, I put it under the apparel. So where you can find our t-shirts there, you can find the CD. It should be apparel and accessories. We're going to change it. So we can have some fun stuff in that grouping as well. But um, that's there for you. I know all of you were asking for that. 
So another thing that um, I kind of totally forgot to talk about in the fifth segment of Harmony was the Harmony label, the quilt label. So that is now up on the website. Can we put um, a photo of it up? Yes. Yeah, so this I just created as a very similar to the Hope label, but I just had the block in there and I put just uh, a few little um, tidbits that we used in, in the promo video. So this you can find uh, on the website. There's a link there too, but there on the website there is bonus charts and templates. There's a little uh, link that goes there and you can find all those little bonus things, all the bonus charts for the Strobology rulers. So it's right there at the top. So if you want to download it yourself or, or print it off yourself, make sure you click just on the name that says Harmony Label and it will bring up the PDF. So you can also save the PDF. So if you have software where you can edit PDFs, you can actually type in the name and all that and then print it on fabric. However, I have placed an order for fabric, actual fabric labels. So they will be here hopefully in about two to three weeks. So just stay tuned for that. Um, if you do would rather have it pro professionally printed on fabric and by the fabric label, uh, just hang tight. And I know there's going to be some time until those quilts are fully finished and ready for a label. So that's all right. Um, so those of you that were with us for the quilt along, we didn't announce the last two winners for the fifth segment of the show. And so there's two winners, two lucky winners. We always had two winners for each segment and sponsored by Moda Fabrics and G Designs. Uh, so the winners for the, sec the last segment are Anita Elliott and Vicki Kirking. I hope I pronounced that right. Congratulations, guys. Uh, please reach out to us, to us either via email or messenger on Facebook, and we will make sure you get your prizes. Those of you that won prizes throughout the Sunday, just know that we, um, we won't be sending out the actual, so some of you will get probably a gift card, others will get actual fabric. And so from Oda, um, we haven't gotten it yet. So it'll be a, probably a week or so until we can start sending it out. So um, don't sit at your mailbox quite yet, okay? Uh, we will make sure we got everybody's addresses and all that, and then we will be in touch. All right, and then we had one winner for to get a CD. So the winner of the CD is Bav Neuenschwander. Well, that's a top one. Did I get it right? Neuen Neuenschwander? Bev, you're a winner. So I will, we will also get that CD out to you. So make sure you um, contact us or we will try and track you down to find your address so we can send you that CD to enjoy. Now, um, are you ready to look at some of the amazing quilts that got started on Sunday? Uh, yes. Okay, so I didn't get everybody. I just took a handful uh, of what I could find of posting. So don't worry. Uh, I mean, please don't be offended if I didn't bring yours on. And I did this a little bit earlier today. So if you posted later today, I saw a lot of, a lot of folks posting today. Um, we will include that in the next segment next week. So let's check out the Harmony slideshow number one.
all just fabulous. Oh my gosh, I love them so much and I can't wait to see more uh, because there were so many great ones started. Uh oh, what's happening hey, over there? Are you okay? That. Did Kobe do that? Kobe <laughs> um, so I saw a few questions pop up. The size of the label, the Harmony, I think it's about, um, so tight fit, it's about seven, seven by eight inches or so. Um, I wanted to also address, somebody said, how do you feel about people altering your designs? Of course, those of you who've been watching me for a while know that I've talked about how I encourage rebel behavior. A pattern is just a suggestion. Of course, I can give you all the tips and be successful in putting the block together, but then you can take it whatever, make it your own. Um, you know, I always get asked, how, are you okay with putting borders on? Any quilt can be added borders. You can play with it, you can do, quilt, do whatever you want. Um, that's always an honor when I see somebody take my pattern and make it their own way and do something fun. So the blocks, of course, when I'm doing something for a quilt along, I usually try and pick something that, you know, can be easily assembled. So this one, the setting for this quilt was all with sashings and it was offset so we didn't have to match anything. But if you noticed, if you were trying to maybe leave out the sashing, you might have noticed that the reason why I twisted, spun the seams, remember I taught you how to spin the seams? When you put those blocks next to each other, the seams will all nest. Wouldn't that be, isn't that great? So that was part of the reason. So it's easy to do if you want to try and match them and test it out. So, all right, this question, which one of your books do you recommend for smaller projects rather than large quilts? So I have two that I just thought of right away. The Stripology book and the Stripology 2 book, they are made with one and a half inch strips. And actually that little little topper right there is from the book strip off from this one so there's six projects in each book all made with one and a half inch strips and they're three sizes so either a mini quilt a table runner or a crib size quilt of course you can keep making blocks um, and then also all of my fast and furious books of course they're all small projects because they're all quilt as you go i have a table talk book that is all table toppers. And then, um, you know, many of my patterns, they always have a smaller version. Sometimes they have a table runner and the Iceland book also has a variety of big quilts and small quilts. So it's always an option. And then of course, all my little, little patterns are small table runners. Um, was there another question that popped up during the video? Uh, when is the next quilt to <laughs> Oh God, wow. <laughs> I, I'm glad that was the just kidding because I would have I don't know what I would have done if you were serious it takes a lot it's a lot of prep it's weeks of prepping and of course since I want to have always a fresh pattern and design it from start and write it and all that there's a lot involved there's a lot involved but um it's fun it's very rewarding so I need I just give me a few weeks <laughs> give me a few weeks we got a lot of fun coming up a lot of fun um anyways Let's talk about what's behind me. I know you're all wondering, there was a little reveal. So you may have noticed a little something and months back, I gave you a little sneak peek of the amazing new farmhouse flannel from Moda, new line of flannels. I also told you that I had a special plan for them. So I've always wanted to have a pattern that was super simple to make with fat quarters. It would use up the fat quarter really nicely and be large pieces so you can really show off fabric. Like if you want it, if you had like really large scale prints or something, you wanted to really show off the fabric, not cut it up too much. Um, and it would just go fast. And then also working with flannel, sometimes you want to simplify what you're doing. You don't want to pick a pattern that has a whole bunch of seams, especially not when you have a lot of seams coming together. And flannel is, this flannel is so thick and soft. It's amazing. And so I actually had been thinking what I'm going to do with this, what I'm going to do with this. And you always ask me, where do I get my inspiration? The idea behind this one came when I was having an MRI. <laughs> yes. So when you have an MRI, you have to lay there for like half an hour to 45 minutes and not move. And so I laid there and thought up this um, pattern, which is really, it's a, I call this one Nina Supersize. I have a pattern called Nina and it's done with um, fat quarters as well, but this, it's blocks are this big. So this is really big blocks. And so 
in the MRI, <laughs> I was laying there and I did all the math. I came home and I said, I just designed a pattern. <laughs> um, let's wait to talk about the back. Don't put that up yet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so put up the cover first. Let me talk about that a little bit. So this, this quilt is, um, like I said, it's three sizes. This is the lap size. It's a, you know, I like a little bit larger lap. So they're about, it's about 67 by 72 and all fat quarters. And as you can see, pretty much one block is almost the size of a fat quarter. It's really awesome. And there's also a full queen and a king size uh, option for this pattern. It's of course just a PDF right now. It will be available in print as well, hopefully within just a few weeks. And um, I really did a fun thing with the back. Do you remember that sheep fabric? So, okay, now you can show the back. <laughs> remember the sheep fabric? I knew that I wanted to use that and I wanted to use it at big scale. And so uh, this is what I did with the back. And so I have, uh, let me show you what I did and how you can recreate it. So with the flannels we put together a bundle and they're available of course so let me show you the bundle first because I decided to put 13 half yards in here now for the lap size quilt you actually only need 10 or 20 fat quarters but I decided to do this and I'll tell you why in just a little bit but here is what is in the bundle so it's all these really awesome grays in all kinds of shades. So it's really a masculine, it can be a masculine quilt. It's great, it's kind of modern, so it really fits well with, for young people, um, especially starting, you know, moving, moving into their first apartment, maybe going to campus if they're allowed <laughs> to school. Um, but they, these flannels are just the softest, most greatest things, designed by my friend Lisa Bonjean miss you Lisa um, so here are the ones the colors that I put in the bundle so as you cut these up for the blocks you actually also cut a strip to use for binding so there's a scrappy binding around the whole thing and so like I said you would need 20 for 20 fat quarters for the lap size which is only 10 half yards obviously but what I did I cut the the 13 half yards into fat quarters so I could kind of mix things more and I worked from fat quarters so what was left was about six fat quarters and so I decided that you know for a normal backing for this this lap size you would need four and a quarter yard but I made three yards work so three yards of the sheep and so we actually have packaged it as a three yard um, so you can get it as a three yard or a one yard, but let me show you. Let's look at the back again. So I um, that when you have a print like this, like the sheep, you know, it's kind of a lot. So can you imagine if it was all sheep? It was it would kind of be a lot. So I love breaking things up. So I have included with a pattern instructions on how to put together the backing from three yards so you would cut the three yards into three single yards so if you if you wanted to just get the one single yards or if you want to get the full three yards or if you have something at home that's just one yards and then you use um, five of the fat quarters to make um, to piece the pieced backing so it's kind of like a little bit of a blueprint so you get this free with a pattern it's just a separate a download that will be in your account so will be the pattern as a PDF and then this as a PDF just a little instruction not of course like step by steps but how to put it together this way and it just makes for a more interesting back and you are able to use the amazing sheet print so really cute so these are in the store like I said the bundles are in the store the sheep as three yards are in the store and also as one yards now you will find these in the category with the bundles. So the one yards are not gonna be a part of all the other one yards because flannel is a bit more expensive than regular cotton. So we didn't include it with the other one yard. So you'll find it there. Um, and the Nina supersize pattern, of course, is now available as a PDF download. So, all right, let me answer your questions. Somebody was talking something about shrinkage about flannel. Now this is why I, when I make a flannel quilt, 
I put flannel on the back. So, cause I don't pre-wash, cause especially with flannel, they can get really, really soft um, when they are washed, which is great. So I put flannel on the back. So then I wash the whole quilt and they all shrink together. Now these, I have to say, are really high quality flannels. And they're, they are um, tightly woven and they are super soft. So uh, flannel is not equal to all flannel. <laughs> uh, there's very various stages of quality. So I would say I wouldn't expect these to shrink much, but of course all fabric and most fabric and probably all flannel shrink a little bit, So, but nothing to be worried about. Um, Vicki says, how I've noticed that many of your quilts have feminine names. How do you choose the names? Um, that is kind of a process of, well, the idea behind it is a little girl power being from Iceland and, and being uh, very kind of always uh, fighting for women's rights and Iceland being very forward in women's rights. So that's kind of a little bit of that and also just to be different and so that I can remember my pattern names. And so there's always a connection either to the pattern or something about how I designed it, where I got the idea from. Um, sometimes it's a person, actually very rarely it's a person, but Nina be, um, became Nina because it's a nine patch. So it's a play on a nine patch. So that was uh, why Nina was Nina. Uh, Pam asked, did you put batting inside? Yes, I did just put a light poly batting. Um, and I don't know if you can see it. Do we have, did I put that close up picture in the, uh, up for you? No. So I have a close-up picture. If you go to the pattern page, um, I did a close-up of the, of the quilt and it's, um, the, I love what Cars Quilting did with the quilting. It's just like these little wool, wool, um, bubbles. And, and so you don't want to quilt a flannel quilt too heavily because then it just stays really soft. But I did put a light poly batting in it. Um, so it's super nice and soft. Is the sheep fa fabric flannel? Yeah, so it's the same. It's from the same fabric line, ex same, exact same quality uh, flannel. So yes, it is. It is flannel. Did you pre-wash the flannel? I don't pre-wash before I sew, nope. I, like I said, I, I prefer to make my whole quilt and then I wash everything. Wash the whole quilt after it's bound. Um, any other questions? Okay, another question with the batting. We answered that one. Do you see anything on, on YouTube? Look at that. Um, still use a quarter inch seam. Yes, um, you wanna use a scant quarter inch. I've kind of explained that before. If you don't know what a, a scant quarter inch is, I recommend you watch my video uh, about piecing accuracy because I talk about that. It's just a little bit, a needle width or two less than a full quarter and how to measure it is you actually want to sew pieces and press them and then measure and so check that out so with flannel you want to check that too sometimes you need to just move your needle over even a little bit more to have your uh, scant quarter inch because it is thicker so when you fold it over it's going to be a more more of a thickness the label is on the website. There's a link in the description of this video if you want to go straight to it. Otherwise, on the website under uh, bonus charts, bonus charts and templates. So you go to the website on the top banner. There's a link that says more, and then you go to bonus charts and templates. Um, so Sheila said, you said there's only a certain amount of downloads permitted for PDF patterns. Regarding the quilt along, you actually have three different downloads. Does that eliminate three times? No. So yeah, you, there's usually, you know, just standard on the website, eight downloads for each file. So you should be fine with eight downloads because each time you click on it and download it, it saves to your device. So you can just go and find it on your device. You don't have to go into your account and open it every time because that is using up a download. Um, the size of Nina, so there's three sizes for this one. This is the lap size. That is the smallest size because the blocks are so big. So that is a 67 by 72. And then there's um, a size that's kind of like a full queen. It's 81 by 90. And then there's a king size, a 94 by 108. So a really big one. But you know, this doesn't have to be a flannel quilt. You can make this with any fabric. It's just, I always wanted to have a pattern that was super quick and fun, still just something more than just squares and something you could use with like really large scale prints, you know, focus prints and stuff like that. Sheila says, do you wash all your quilts before you gift them? I usually do, um, you know, so my 
quilts, especially if it's done for a pattern, they travel with me a while and I, you know, I'm showing them here and there. So when it's ready to be gifted, I do wash them. I also think, and sometimes even if I make a quilt like for a baby or something, um, I always wash them because sometimes the recipients are afraid to wash their quilts. So I kind of take that little thing away. So I always tell them I already washed it. And so when you need to wash it again, just wash it on a cold, you know, a cold um, cycle, gentle cycle, and you can spin it and then pop it in the dryer and it's really soft and nice. Um, Liz says, how many sheep bundles would you need to order for a queen? So a queen, let me just, so there is the fabric requirements are in um, the pattern description. So if, if you want to check it out before you buy, you can check it out. But so you need 25 quarters for the lap. You need 30 for the queen and then 42 for the king. So 30, that would mean 15 half yards. So I would say either one bundle and then a one yard of the sheep if you would like to include the sheep in the front of the quilt or I would just get two bundles or if you have maybe you have some other flannel at home that you could sub substitute. Um, Amy says do you change your st stitch length per type of fabric? I don't unless you see your machine struggling you know my, you know my machine was so smooth with this one my new one it was not a problem but flannel I mean it is a little bit thicker so if you feel like your machine is struggling a little bit I would probably increase the stitch length if you feel like it's struggling a little bit but I didn't have to do any adjustments you might need to pin a little bit more um, with flannel just because it is thicker but other than that pretty much the same can you use a layer cake for the new pattern um, no because the big pieces are big you can use fat quarters any any fat quarters does flannel shift like minky? Oh no, nothing like minky. Um, it's still cotton, so it, it's it's nice. Uh, it's not does not have that slick back like the minky does. How many fat quarters and backing for the larger sizes? Like I said, 20, 30, and 42. And the backing, you know, if you do the the piece backing, it's only three yards for the lap. Um, but if you use one fabric, it's four and a quarter, six yards for the queen. Um, an eight and a third for the king. Um, what cocktail accompanies Nina? Ooh, that's a good question. Well, Nina was kind of named after uh, I was playing crabs. We saw a movie, we were playing crabs and they were yelling, trying to get nine and they yell out Nina. So what would you drink at a crabs game? Like which straight probably cognac. a straight cognac. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that would not be a cocktail to my taste. I'd say like a martini, a fancy martini, like a lemon drop or a Cosmo, I would say. Um, what machine do you use? I got a new machine just this year. I uh, love it, absolutely love it. So it's a Baby Lock Solaris. So it's a embroidery and sewing quilting machine. It's got a really big throat space and it's wonderful, although I still do a little bit of piecing on my vintage Singer um, 301. Love that too. Uh, Sue says, would a banded stash builder work well with Nina? Oh yes, because the big, oh Nina or the supersized Nina? Because we have a little Nina and then, well it's not little, but it's smaller blocks. Uh, I think it would work great with a big because, you know, that fabric kind of, it has such variegation in it. It would be very artsy and cool. I totally think so. And really quick to make. Um, any other questions? Did you make each block with two fabrics? Would it lend itself to making super scrappy? Absolutely, super scrappy. You could totally, now, um, as you may know how I write fabrics, it's kind of strip piece and then you subcut using the ruler. But you could, you know, I used three strips of each fabric so you made alternating strip sets and then you layer them together to make a block but that could be three different fabrics in the strip sets totally totally so you can mix it all up make it super scrappy um <laughs> jan recommends tequila shots for <laughs> the nina cocktail uh probably you know this one is super cozy and comfy i can't wait to uh cuddle with it like when it starts to get we get those cool evenings and stuff sitting in our little screened in porch i just think it would be perfect so we'll be fighting over this one so then you know a little shot warms you up 
real fast. Um, I'm thinking of making a Christmas Nina. I like that idea. Oh, Christy says, what are your favorite quilt shops in the Minneapolis area? Oh, we've got some great ones. So the closest one to me is um, Eagle Creek Quilt Shop. It's about, I mean, 10 minutes from me where I live. Um, I love Millie Peas. Um, there is, I actually like to go, since I am on the west side of the suburbs, I like to go west and go out to Hutchinson to um, Quilters Haven on Maine. Quilt Haven on Maine. I'm just blanking right now. Um, what else? There's Twin City Quilting. Very good. Quilt, um, Quilted Treasures and Rogers. So they're all kind of in the suburbs. Otherwise, I haven't been to quilt shops much these days. Too busy. Um, how does the block size compare between Nina and Super Size Nina? Uh, the block size for Nina, I believe, is six by six by eight. Um, this one is 15 by <laughs> 18 or something or like uh, uh, not 15 it's like 13 or 14 by 18 so it's probably triple do I get the fat quarter directions with the sheep bundle so the the, you, the directions for the pattern you have to order the pattern so you have to get the pattern separately you will get with the pattern you will get the backing sheet so that's how you get that um, oh, I love it. Great questions. Great comments. Oh, three yards of sheep fabric sold out. What? Well, you know what? I have more coming. We have more coming. So we're going to leave it up. So if something sells out, you can click on it and you can put your email in for a notification when we get restock. So I do have more of the sheep coming just so you know. Um, Wow, that was really fast. <laughs> we have lots of bundles though. The kids have been busy folding, folding. Um, what'd you say, Svana? Svana's trying to talk to me. I bagged all the three yard ones. Oh, she bagged all the three yard ones for you. They were folded really nicely and bagged nicely. <laughs> Kobe's getting excited. All right, any other questions on this? I've been so excited to show you this, but I had to wait till after the sew along, <laughs> the quilt along, um, but it's really, really cute. Hopefully they'll just keep printing this so we can keep, keep carrying it. Um, do you see any other questions? Anything on YouTube that we need to need to address? Mr. Producer. Oh yeah. It was just a routine, just a, you know, it was not, they saw nothing. So that was good. <laughs> It was it, like it birthed this, so maybe I should have MRIs more often. <laughs> Who knows what happens when I need to be completely still for an hour. <laughs> My brain just goes, woo, 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 woo. Huh? Harmony cocktail was great. Harmony cocktail was great. Yeah, wasn't it? So I didn't even make it. Did I get a cocktail after the quilt along? I did. Yeah, because we ordered Mexican food. I got a margarita. So I didn't even have a Harmony cocktail. I was going to have a Harmony cocktail, but... That couch knocked me out. <laughs> oh, I did pronounce Bev's name right. Oh, I'm so happy. Glad. Oh, yay. Good, because I'm not good at that stuff. Um, okay, so I have a few more things that are new. Just wanted to show you. We don't have any more bundles. So we knew kind of it was going to be mayhem over the flannel. But we have um, lots of little charm packs that came into the store today. So some of them are restocked. So the gradations chips, which I think are awesome from um, their Stonehenge and so they gradiate from light to dark and so we have this color this is the graphite and then this one is called oxidized copper so it's the greens like it goes from the kind of the light beige into the golds and then the greens start to get mixed in and then you go into the light greens and the a lot of blue in here too and it's just really cool um, and then this these two are Midnight, which are more blues, and then this one is Twilight, which goes into more purple. So these are really cool to use for some of the some of the little patterns that are all just done with charm packs. And so um, you could use because you can use like some of the lighter ones, pair that 
um, pair the darker ones with the light one and you get a really nice variety without having crazy patterns that are all smallish scale. And then we got more um, juniper charms. We have a few more juniper charms come in and then I did show you this on Friday but it was the ghouls and goodies. Um, that also came in and we are just anxiously awaiting the bundles for the ghouls and goodies and um, they will hopefully be here within just a few days. Now one bundle that I showed you on Friday, so I forgot to bring it up. Svana, do you want to go grab it? Um, it's the Bumbleberries Fat Quarter Pack. If we got time, we got time. She can run. She's young. <laughs> um, answer some questions. Do you think they will make any Christmas flannel? Um, I, I don't, haven't seen anything, at least not from uh, Moda. I'm kind of picky on fabric as you probably can understand. Um, so quality, quality and such. I haven't seen any Christmas flannel yet. I know they did juniper in a brushed version, but brushed is different from flannel. Brushed is really just um, a technique they use to, for regular cotton and they brush it. Um, can you show the sheep again? Let's put it on the overhead so they can see it on a large scale. So, it, so I can see kind of what size these guys are. So this is the scale. So if you see my hands, um, I would say about four inches. Well, let's just measure it. It is, oh, three inches finished about, it's about three inches finished. Um, okay, so let's check out this Bumbleberries. So I got this idea because this is what I used to do. I kind of still do when I see a great basics line. And if I can get it in a fat quarter bundle, I buy either buy a fat quarter bundle or I buy all the fat quarters. And because I like to have it as a, a visual to compare and I know, you know, which one to order when I'm trying to match with a perfect fabric. So when um, Louis and Irene came out with their fall and winter colors for Bumbleberries, Bumbleberries is their, is their basics line. I decided that I needed to offer this as a fat quarter bundle. So what they do is they come out with a line of Bumbleberries. They, they still have their basics, about 12 different ones that are not in here, but this is their winter ones. What's great about it is that all of these colors will match all of their lines for the whole season. So that's, that's really cool. And, and so what I used to always do, I would just, um, write like the SKU name on each of those. Um, should we fold them out to show you and mess this up Svana? You'll have to fold it again. <laughs> but these are really cool. I, I love uh, any kind of basic that has a variegation and a variety of color, darks to lights, but still staying within that color. So you have that different values within it. Um, so it was fun when we had, we had a Lewis and Irene, the Iona bundle. We were just having fun pulling colors out of here and seeing how they just worked perfectly with many of them worked perfectly with that bundle. So I can't wait to do it again when we have more Lewis and Irene coming and kind of, kind of matching it up, but look at this beautifulness. So, uh, many of these we will be carrying as one yards. So they are just coming in. So this is the bundle. So it's all 20, uh, fat quarters and we included a list of all the names with the colors in the order they were in the bundle. So this is why I need to have Svana organize this again because <laughs> she's the one that put this in order. And so, um, but that's really a, a great kind of a reference. So if you needed more of one, you could possibly get that as one yards. So that is just fresh and new from Friday and that's all the new stuff I have for you today. Like it isn't enough. <laughs> Do you have any more questions? Yeah, we'll okay, bring up some more questions. Do you plan on getting more peppered cotton? Yes, they were, they had sold out of a lot of them. Um, we, I just placed a reorder for a few other colors, but they are sold out of a few colors. So they're on back order until, um, until later. So, but we have more. Will the sheep come in a bright color combo other than the gray? The sheep only comes in this one colorway because this line was all just grays and brown. So the sheep just kind of matched all the other plaids and they were all plaids. Um, can you repeat the ombre cutting tip for harmony or tell me which segment? Um, so that was, if you have an ombre strip that's dark to light, and you want to have the, you know, how the link goes from dark to light or vice versa. 
So you would cut the longest rectangle first, then the square, and then the short rectangle. Just cut the square in the middle and not from the end like I would do normally. So that's the, that's the tip. Is flannel hard to sew? Do you need a different needle? Says Sandy. Um, not a different needle. A fresh needle is always good. I, I, don't, I didn't have any trouble sewing it. Like I said, the only difference is it's thicker. So that's why I always, when I'm working with flannel, I want to choose a, a pattern that is not a whole lot of interlocking seams. So something simple uh, and it's just a joy. It's, it sews really nicely. Um, like the new fabric, got any more Viking fabric? Um, know that Viking fabric that you probably saw me sewing with, that was a line that came out, when was that? Last year, I think, from Louis and Irene. So I haven't seen anything coming I haven't, haven't seen anything that I can order coming anytime soon. Maybe I need to start designing fabric again. <laughs> Who knows? I got that question today too. But you never know. I'm having too much fun with everybody else's fabrics. Uh, what type of batting would you use in a flannel quilt? Now, I prefer just a light poly batting for most of my quilts. So I would use that. Or I have one quilt from years ago. It's a flannel quilt. That I use wool batting in. If you want it to be really, really warm, I used wool in it, and it was awesome. It's still awesome. It's still one of my favorite quilts from from decades ago. Okay, just love all the bundles you create. It's so hard to decide which to buy. I guess I need to keep working. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you. I, I do put a lot of work into it. Um, did you finish your harmony quilt you started on Sunday? No, I have not finished it. I have not touched it since Sunday. I have, the one thing I did do though, I pulled all of the colors that I need to finish my blocks because I wanted, I told you I wanted to make more black and white blocks. And so they're all ready, the pieces are all there. It's just finding the time to get to my sewing machine again, which needs to happen. Um, Pat Chambers is asking, when will you announce the Fast and Furious info? So September 1st will be our, our big launch day for the Fast and Furious Club. So put that on your calendar, Tipsy Tuesday, September 1st. It will be the, the week before uh, Labor Day weekend. So better check that out. Where can I find the PDF for the quilt backing for Nina Supersize? When you purchase the Nina pattern, it will be one of the documents that you can download. One will be the pattern, the other one will be the backing instruction. Um, Car Carmela says, what about your book? Yes, I'm working on that too. I need to work on that too. So I'm, I'm making great progress. So also just got to find some time to, uh, really kind of tackle it and finish it. So, uh, what is the cute table runner beside you? That is strip off from the stripology book. Like I said earlier on the show, it's, um, uh, made with one and a half inch strips. And this one, this is actually the mini quilt. I have a had a runner in the book that's just a little bit a little bit longer and I made it all with orange strips so it's kind of like pumpkins so made them with Halloween fabrics which and then I think I gave it away I think so because <laughs> I can't find it that's probably the reason um, Anne says Rupra just came out of the oven how long do I have to wait to open the carton okay so Rupra is the rye bread recipe from my quilts of Iceland book so I can usually not wait very long. I usually bake it overnight. So right away in the morning, I pop that carton out of the oven. And as soon as it's cool enough to, to uh, open, I, I, I usually just rip it off of the bread. Now the bread will be really hot in the middle. So you have to kind of let it settle. Otherwise, when you start cutting it, it'll... So I'd, I'd wait like half an hour to an hour. But it's really good warm with some butter. Now you're making my mouth water, in. Um, what do you do with all the quilts you make? Do you gift them or keep them and rotate with the seasons? If I were to keep all my quilts, I don't know, we would need another house probably. No, I, I donate a lot. So at the end of the year, I've done this now two years in a row. And before that, I would gift a lot of them. Two years in a row, I've taken um, tubs and tubs of quilts to the homeless shelter on Christmas Day, Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve. And it's just the best thing ever. So that's what I uh, am preparing to do. So a lot of the quilts that get made this year will go there. Now, if it's a new pattern or new book, I always have to hang on to them because I usually use them for, you know, trunk shows and, and 
and classes and stuff like that now that we're not teaching classes but I, I travel with them for a while I have to hang on to them for a while uh, but then there's always other ones that have been hanging around and then maybe be passed on how many quilts have you made thousands pra wow I don't know I, and that's one thing I should have been documenting but I make a lot of quilts in a year um, especially if you count table runners and smaller things as well so I I would say I probably do two two big quilts a month or more yeah I mean for the hope quilt along I did four or five this one I did three harmonies yeah there's a lot I do a lot <laughs> Pamela's asking, what is the Fast and Furious Club? So that is our monthly Quilt As You Go Club. So uh, we did season one last year. So it's every month there is a pattern and a video class together that comes out. And so we will explain all about how it works and you can either purchase just one project at a time or you can purchase three at a time or you can purchase the whole year, which is nine months. We do nine months. And so they're all smaller projects done quilt as you go. So you are quilting and piecing at the same time, really fun, quick little projects. And each one comes with a video class. So I take you through the whole process, start to finish. So, so hold your hand the whole way. And they're just really fun, kind of instant gratification. Cause once you're done, you just put the binding on and it's done. So we are launching second season in two weeks, September 1st. So don't miss that show. There's always, that's also the time when we have kits for the first trimester and they usually sell out really fast. All right, any more questions? Or should we move on to our giveaway? We have a live winner. Um, another new thing that we launched last week, if you haven't been watching us, is uh, we have a lot of new pre-order bundles. So we have some, some bundles that are coming in uh, October through December, January. And so we're taking pre-orders, for example, that abandoned bundle by um, Tim Holtz and Free Spirit. That's been really popular. So we just added more. We can up our orders now, which is nice. Uh, but our live winner, do you have a live winner for us? Nope. Nope, not this one. She won the CD. The Carol, Carol Blue is our winner, live winner. Congrats, Carol. Make sure you send us a message so we can get that gift card to you, $25 gift card to the GE store. And then you have another chance to win. All you have to do is answer this question. Did you learn anything new during the quilt along? Now, if you, you can say, I didn't watch the quilt along, I didn't follow the quilt along, that's okay but you can answer the question. Um, so it could be anything. Did you learn anything about quilting? Did you learn anything about something else? Did you learn anything about what you were doing, about color, um, or anything we talked about during the shows? I would love to hear it. How good Merlot cheese and Club uh, Did you maybe learn how good Merlot cheese and Club Clark crackers are? <laughs> he had to get that in. He had to get that in. He was very proud to see some people posting uh, photos of the chili roasted pistachios. And then he got worried that there's going to be a fight and there's going to be a shortage. <laughs> but hopefully that'll all be okay. Now, we learned a few things. You learned some things about technology and having guests. Yep. So uh, what did I learn? Um, that may, I need to eat before I start. <laughs> because otherwise I don't eat all day. So I need to have a big breakfast before we go. And I need more water on the set, probably. Mm -hmm. So, because I pretty much don't leave the set. I always have these grand ideas that I'm gonna go make a little lunch and we're gonna have time and nothing. Nope, I pretty much stay on set. So I learned that. Um, I learned, always learn things from you guys showing me stuff. So that's, that's always really great. Um, so answer this question. Did you learn anything during the quilt along? We would love to hear it and you get a chance to win. And we will, we will announce the winner next week for our Tipsy Tuesday show, which is August 25th at 7 p.m. Central Time. And then of course, I'll be live Friday, 3 p.m. Remember, Tuesdays at 7, Fridays at 3 central time i'll be live with my happy friday show both on facebook and youtube but that is it for us tonight 
I thank you for being with me. Thank you for being with me through the quilt along and I will see you hopefully on Friday. Thanks everybody. Thank you.